When you head off to Midland Park Mall to cross off things off your Christmas list, this is one of the tables that you always see. And I hate to say it, all good things must come to an end. It's an especially bittersweet ending for a part of the News West 9 Salvation Army toy drive. We're talking about the longest letter to Santa. After 35 years, it's ending. And before we send off this beloved, tra beloved tradition into the sunset, let's talk about how sweet the past three decades have been. If you want to make a difference, we've been taught, you must put pen to paper. And in this case, you could say Midlanders are on a roll. For more than three decades, children have signed their names, jotted down a Christmas wish, or just a simple greeting to the big man in red. All that's asked in exchange is a $1 donation and a valuable teaching moment too. It's always better to give than receive. It was just something I came up with and it kind of stuck. It helped raise a lot of money. Dale Bowie is the woman behind the giant idea. She and the AT&T pioneers have rallied volunteers and giant rolls of paper for the annual fundraiser year after year. <laughs> Never unrolled it again once we roll it up, but it's wonderful to go back and, and look at uh, some of the letters and signatures. Just brings back memories of how wonderful it was. Every single dollar raised has stayed in West Texas. The money used for the News West 9 Salvation Army toy drive, helping put presents under the tree for those in need. That that's, goes through several generations of giving, uh, 30, 35 years that uh, you've seen a lot of kids come and go. 35 years of letters, and this year is her last. Dell is ready to retire and has a Christmas wish for her community. Someone will like to pick up where we left off with the longest letter to Santa and continue that. A wish to continue the giving spirit for even more generations to come.